Hello and welcome to learn system view in five minutes. This is tutorial one and in this tutorial I will give you an introduction to the pathway system design tool which we also call as system view. In this playlist of the tutorial series you will go over various features of the software and learn how to use the software to perform various kind of simulation and analysis. But before we do that, let's spend five minutes in understanding what are the core capabilities of the software which can be useful for your applications. My name is Anurag Bhargava and I work at Customer Success Manager at Keysight and I will be creating you know, multiple tutorials on how to use System View as we go along. Okay, so System View is a model-based system simulation platform. It covers multiple domains and applications for you to try out. Uh, starting with Baseband, where people are doing various comms file, algorithm, DSP or custom code development. Also transitioning to analog RF, where people are designing transmitter receivers and concerned about antennas, antenna arrays, ADC, DAC, and all those kind of performance. And not forgetting the most important part of the overall system design flow is how to handle the environmental degradation in our signals and system performance. Uh, modeling different type of channels, um, taking care of different type of target clutters and echoes and so on, as well as not to forget in this complicated world, how to deal with the problem of interference where multiple you know, systems are operating at the same location or in a nearby location and how do they degrade our performance. Now, in terms of target application, uh, what uh, system you can help with is very wide ranging. So covering from aerosis in defense where people might be doing radar, SATCOM, EW system or the emerging communications such as 5G, IoT, uh, networking and so on. And also um, not to forget the, the lot of emphasis these days and a lot of companies are working in this domain, which is automotive, where we are talking about automotive radar designs, communication, vehicle to vehicle communication, vehicle to everything communication and so on. So system view provides capabilities for all these designers to perform their system design very easily into the product. So what kind of people or personas uh, might end up using system view might get benefited and they're very wide ranging. People starting from a very top level system architects who use, um, who need a very simple and easy model based design workflow to quickly put together blocks and look at the overall system performance. People working on baseband um, level and developing various kind of algorithms for various standards or systems. Uh, people involved in RF system design, uh, they're primarily the architects who are trying to work out the overall uh, block diagram of RF system, which blocks are needed, how many blocks are needed, what are the specifications of those blocks and so on. So they can find a very accurate RF system simulator inside the product. And also, even if we are not designing anything, if even if I am a pure test and measurement guy, I can use system view to verify my system by utilizing the measurement grade reference IP provided by the software or to create our own custom signals with our own distortions or kind of signals we need to, to test our you know, system in lab environment and still replicating the near real life field scenarios inside our lab. In order to aid all these uh, capabilities, System View has a time domain as well as RF simulation engines inside. It has a very powerful phased array uh, simulator inside, as well as uh, we are not alone. We understand we are not alone, so we do provide a scripting language support whereby um, you know people can write their MATLAB code inside natively in, into the System View or to link system view with their own version of MATLAB or C++ or VHDL. It also has a direct link to RF design tools such as ADS, Golden Gate or EM Pro to do or to bring over the, the real RF designs into the system level environment. And there are various uh, standard compliance signal libraries which provides reference transmitter receivers, for example, for 5G and R. 
So in a nutshell, system view allows you to unite both baseband and RF under single environments so that people can co-design their system and co-verify their system and not um, always work in isolation. So here's a good snapshot which provides you the level of complexity or level of detail you can model in your system design. Starting from the baseband tools such as MATLAB, C++, HDL, going to RF microwave where we might be doing IC level or circuit level design using ADS or Golden Gate. Uh, people working on antennas, working with antenna array, uh, using either Keysight EM Pro software or even ANSYS HFSS or CST Microwave Studio. Um, STK, which is a terrific tool to do atmospheric distortion, terrain mapping, a Doppler, um, you know, orbital profile of satellites and so on. And not to forget, the, the whole story ends at the test table when we start using test and measurement instruments to verify. And System View has a direct link to all the major uh, you know, instruments we end up using as well as the software of those instruments which we can use in, inside our design platform. So it's a very powerful system design tool. And as you go along in this tutorial video, we will touch base on how to use each of these models and how to do a very specific design and to simulate the overall system performance. So stay tuned for more videos in this series. Uh, thanks for watching the video and hope you like the introduction.